Alexa, please pause. Thank you. Welcome to Palette's channel. I'm your host, AB, and this is the Know How series. Today, I'm about to showcase a skincare routine that I use. Now, this is a full on treatment, but some of these steps I may only do once a week, some of them you may do twice a week. But you should also know that to see results, you need to be consistent. There's always a continuation in life so the way you treat your skin and your body as a temple will be showcased to you years from now there's no one way to do this uh this is completely dependent on what you want to attain from this uh so you can completely adopt what i'm about to show you or tweak some of the elements uh, but that's completely dependent on you and you should also pay attention to your skin type whether your skin is oily whether your skin is dry sensitive and if there's any skin conditions i would always recommend to consult a dermatologist you should also note that this is completely useless unless you hydrate properly i consume about three to five liters of water a day that's why i constantly keep this next to me this is this my swell bottle um I'm always, always drinking. Some of that could be alkaline, um, some of that tea, some of that any liquids. I'm constantly being hydrated. Um, so aside from hydration, nutrition is almost equally as important. So I maintain a healthy plant-based diet to some extent. I attempt to eliminate as many toxins as I can. So that could be like alcohol and fast food and all the sweet tooth tendencies like cookies and cupcakes, y'all know what i mean by that it doesn't mean you can't indulge but i try to limit that as much as i can anyways most of these products that i'm about to show you are from asob and grown alchemist both of these are australian brands i think one of them yeah one of the products is not uh is a different company but uh i tried a whole bunch of products out of my time and these are the ones i settled on because i like the way they nourish my skin and help illuminate my skin and when i feel that way i tend to exude a lot of confidence this our face is that's our conduit that's what we use to communicate with people and um it's what people look at the most okay, so let's hop into this first you need to ensure that your hands are clean because you don't want any unsanitary hands that'll cause some breakouts and we don't want that we want to look sexy into our 20s and deep into them and beyond that so what i use at the moment is a liquid soap from purple urchin that's the soap. Done. Okay, y'all see that? Now that's a tea tree and eucalyptus hand wash and uh, it hydrates your hands well, especially because uh, we tend to use a lot of hand sanitizers lately. So this uh, comes in clutch. Um, and also the Apple Watch does a 20 second countdown. So that helps me ensure that my hands are clean. And they're a local shop and I always promote buying local uh, it helps the small businesses out and uh, they need us we all as a community we need to help each other out now i know this is not technically part of the skincare routine but i felt like i wanted to mention it because people don't talk about it that much and uh that's to brush your teeth especially if you're uh communicate with people at a close proximity you want a clean breath <laughs> and what i use is marvis toothpaste that's the one that i use uh, marvis uh, is an italian brand i've been using them for years now this one is the classic strong mint i use the aquatic one which i like the most and that comes in a blue tube but they also do limited edition ones i had the curriculum one uh, also that was Peppermint, but blended with an oriental spice called cardamom, which is common in Morocco. And I like that one a lot. Uh, but these are fluoride free, cruelty free, vegan. And that's what I like the most about these. I also do use though, um, bamboo brush. These are pure bamboo brush with soft nylon bristles and charcoal bristles at the end. And these are uh, completely biodegradable. You can put these in the compost, I think, as well as the packaging that they come in. This is a pack of 10. I'll put the link of the, in the description below. You can buy these on Amazon. Uh, I don't buy any plastic brushes because they take hundreds of years to decompose and they end up in landfills. These, you can use them and then switch them out each six to eight weeks like uh, most dentists would recommend. Um, 
and I like these. They clean. They do exactly what you need them to do. Manual. I don't use the. I used to. Ha I use an electric toothbrush. I don't now. Uh, I like these a lot, and they're numbered as well. There's. They come in uh, two colors. There's white and black. So if you want to buy them for you and your partner or anyone else, uh, you can split them up, and you won't be confused because they're uh, they're all numbered. If you can see that. Let's see this one. Boom. Cool. Now, um, I feel like we've been talking forever and we haven't started with the actual skincare routine. So why don't we do that now? I think we're due for that. The first step that you want to do is use a cleanser. And what I like to use is the uh, Aesop Parsley Seed Facial Cleanser. So that's the one. This will help clean uh, all the impurities and also acts as a mild exfoliator because of the lactic acid inside and the licorice root helps to wake you up. I use cold water that helps with blood circulation and to maintain the pores closed. So uh, why don't we do that now? So what I'm about to do is dab my face and then I'm gonna dab a small amount and lather it into my skin until it foams up. That's about the amount that I use. You don't need a lot, you just kind of work it into my skin so make sure you just work it into your skin get all the areas especially underneath if you if you have a beard or any facial hair make sure you clean underneath that as well and your t-zone especially So try to dab your face dry. Um, I have a tendency to be rough with a towel sometimes, so you don't need to be too rough with it. I'm actually gonna remove some of my jewelry just to help me with this. All right, so now that we're dry and cleaned up, I made somewhat of a mess though, but as you can see, completely clean. What I like to do next is a step that I may only do once a week, twice maximum if I'm consistent, but that's to exfoliate. And essentially when you exfoliate, you eliminate dead skin cells to allow new ones to come out. And what I like to use is also another product from Aesop, which is the Purifying Facial Exfoliant Paste. That's the one. And this one contains some fine quartz and rosemary leaf extract as well as lactic acid. Like the cleanser has lactic acid, that's why the cleanser is somewhat of a mild exfoliate, but this one will completely exfoliate your skin. So what you wanna do is also damp your face like we did with the cleanser. Just allow the product to be malleable. You don't need too much of the product. You need about this much. All right, what you wanna do with this one is just dab it lightly and just kinda of go with your skin like we did with the cleanser you want to just really get it in there and work the product inwards get all the areas on your face especially the ones that have a tendency to become dry and then you want to clean it off with some water um, same as the cleanser. I'm gonna mention this step, I'm not actually about to do it, but I like to use the Primrose Facial uh, Cleansing Mask. And you can do that after you exfoliate, but this is something that I may do only once a week. Sometimes I'll skip it completely. But if you're someone that likes to use masks a lot, this one is a good one. It has rose, uh, geranium, uh, Primrose seeds, and sage leaf. So next up, what we want to do is a step that I tend to see a lot of people skip and that's to use a toner. And I use the B&T Balancing Toner from Aesop. That's the one I use. And I usually apply that using a cotton swab. So this is a pipe that I bought a while back, but I'm going to put a link in the description below to ones that are rewashable and reusable so that you don't only use this once and then throw it away. The, you can use the uh, cotton swabs as many times as you want uh, because you can constantly wash them and whatnot. 
This one is an alcohol-free blend with pro-vitamin B5s. Tons of people don't include toners in their skincare routine, but you should because it helps to restore the pH balance in your skin and allows you to have a consistent complexion. Not only that, but it helps to bind moisture to your skin. So when you use your hydrators and whatnot afterwards, it'll help bind that moisture and keep you or your skin hydrated. So I just put a couple dabs and use it all over my skin. Now that you've used the toner, the next step that you want to do is use a serum. And what I like to use at the moment is the Crone Alchemist Antioxidant Facial Oil. Also, what's important to me when I choose products is not only what they do, but also the method in which they were sourced. So Grown Alchemist focuses on organic formulas and are cruelty free. So they don't test on animals and uh, the way that they're made and sourced is ethical. So as not to harm the ecosystem. And that's why I like their products a lot. This one is with Baruga, Baruga, Rosehip and Buckthorn. And I use serums to help hydrate my skin. I usually use them after my toner. I apply that as a base and then I use my moisturizers and whatnot. So a few drops, you don't need much of this. You can just use a couple of drops. I usually use maybe three drops of this. And I just dab it and then work it into my skin. right boom easy simple adds a shine to your face next up is the facial hydrating cream this one's the camilla nut facial hydrating cream from asop and i like to use a couple dabs of this one as well this one is an essential for me because my skin is mostly dry and this helps me out a lot so i just take a couple of dabs not only that, this smells phenomenal. Almost smells like a botanical garden. So it has a very earthy smell to it. And that's mostly due to the Camilla nut. And you don't need to use a lot because as you can see, the small amount that I applied has done so much. And boom, that's the cream done. So now you have your serum applied, you have your hydrating cream applied. Hydration is extremely important for me. So just off the ingredients here that are listed, you have chamomile bud, saddlewood, and rosemary leaf. And that's the smell that I talked to you about, the earth tone um, smell, botanical smell that I like so much about them. And not only that, if you really think about it and you look at it, just that way the packaging is, the aesthetic of, of both Grown Alchemist and Aesop, I like that a lot. It's very minimal, it's simplistic. And I like the amber look of the containers. Next up is one that I recently re-upped on. And if you just look at the packaging, I'm just gonna read out what it says on the packaging here. This one is from Grown Alchemist. And this is the Age Repair Eye Cream. And it says, Australian certified toxic free through a profound understanding of human biology. Cellular renewal and nutrient utilization are formulations represent a new evolution of scientifically capable biological beauty say less i'm sold boom and this is the age repair eye cream tetrapeptide centella this one hell of a uh with any um with any eye cream you don't want to apply too much just small 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 dab and i usually use my pinky because you shouldn't apply too much pressure underneath your eye and Just work it in underneath your eye. If you're someone that has a ton of black circles or anything like that, or wrinkles beneath your eyes, this will surely help you out. And that's the eye cream right there. We're almost done, I promise you. We're almost there. Next up we have the Rosehip Lip Cream from Aesop. I use a small amount of that as well 
dries up pretty quickly. Boom, all done. This one dries up pretty quickly. And I like that because it doesn't add much of a sheen to your lips. There's other ones that I do use, even with moisturizers and hydrating creams. If you are, if you're someone that lives in a sunny area, you want to tend to look for products that have SPF with them as well. This one is another lip cream that I use with SPF 25. And this is the uh, lip balm from Jack Black. This one right here as well as uh, the moisturizer. Instead of the Camilla Nut, I used to use one from Jack Black back in the days that had an SPF 15 as well, uh, because you also want to protect your skin from the UV rays and whatnot. Yeah, but back to the lip balm, aside from the rosehip seed that it uses, this one has Lang Lang, Yang Yang, I think that's how you say that, I don't know exactly, but that plant has antibacterial properties and supposedly it also helps increase sexual desire, so. If you want someone that wants to add some spice and wants those succulent luscious lips then that's the one that's the one that you need especially if you're in a climate that's cold um, your lips will be constantly dry and i constantly keep two lip balms one in my jacket and one at home so that when i'm out and about i know i can always uh, use my lip balm and uh this one also is a step that you shouldn't skip, just like the toner, just like the uh, toothpaste. And you want to be able to have a consistent skincare routine that you can maintain daily, that doesn't consume a lot of your time if you're someone that's constantly in a hurry. This is mostly a skincare routine that I showed you today that I do early in the day or in the afternoon, and it helps sustain me throughout the day up until I have to do my skincare routine at night. So this is one that you can, like I told you, completely adapt or tweak as you may need, or only honestly use some of these products. These are the products that I personally use and that I settled on. You don't need to choose these ones exactly, but base, I'm, I'm someone that's been using products for a long time. And ever since I was, you know, in my early teens, I've always been enthralled with skin regimens and how to enhance my skin condition. Um, or how to enhance my skin as a whole. And these are products that I stand by. Yeah, but aside from that, also one that I'd like to mention this also, this is the Immediate Moisturizer Facial Hydrocell. That's what the name is. And it's this one right here. This is essentially all it is, is rosehip water. It just uses rose petal, bergamot peel, and chamomile bud. And this is just the mist. mist spray i use this a lot when i'm traveling it helps just to keep my face hydrated if i don't want to wash let's say i'm on a plane and i don't want to wash my face if i just want to help hydrate the skin i just spray spray a couple of of this at a distance and just kind of like pat it dry into my skin And that's it. This is this one I always keep on me also like on the go. It's not something that I'm gonna do after my uh, skincare routine, but it's something that if I'm out and about throughout the day, I'll tend to use it. I'll maybe do a couple of sprays. It's rosehip water. It's extremely um, helpful when it comes to hydrating your skin. Yeah, guys, also another thing what you want is a pocket comb if you're somebody that has facial hair, just to keep everything neat and tidy. This one is a small one that I can put in my pocket at all times. Same with the lip balm. And uh, that's it. That's the skincare routine that I showed you guys. Um, like I said, man, comment, like, subscribe, do all of that. Put the comments down below. Tell me what you guys think of it. I'll put the link in the description for all the products that I use today. And uh, thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. I'm um, in like, subscribe, all of that. And bless up. Peace. I'll catch y'all on the next one.